Welcome back, everyone, and a very happy new year to you, depending on when you watch this video. We are going to be looking back at the entirety of the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys 2020 lineup. So, of course, this will be my top DC Multiverse figures for 2020. And they started off this year in an interesting way. A lot of, oh, I don't know if I like that, or it's not just going to work, and scaling, and all this other stuff. Well, by the end of the year, they are producing some of the coolest figures, and I'll just admit right now, you might see a few of those on this particular list. But I am very excited to see what they do for 2021 and beyond. I'm excited to see what comics do and how... McFarlane Toys will then tackle said subject matter. Will we see Future State? Will we see classic stuff? Will we see animated? Who knows? Movies. It's all up in the air, but all equally as fun. And with this entire 2020 lineup, for being the freshman year with 50-some figures, I'd say they did a great job. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the entirety of of the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse with my favorites for 2020. And just to keep things light, we'll set the clock at like 30 seconds for each of these. But I want to start it off with the Infected Superman, part of the Merciless Build-A-Figure wave. One figure that when it was kind of announced, I was like, okay, I know what this is from, but yeah. And then when I had the figure in hand, I was like, yeah, this is a pretty dang good Superman. Now, he doesn't come with a flight stand, unfortunately. He does come with extra hands. But this is a creepy, twisted, weirdo-looking Superman, and dang it, he is rad. Now this is another one where I was not really a fan of Teen Titans. I watched it kind of, sort of, and it wasn't, it wasn't Batman the Animated Series. But this is a dang good figure. This is, of course, Cyborg from the Teen Titans series. Of course, done in that McFarlane animated style, where it's a little bit of Bruce Timm, a little bit of Glenn Murakami, all kind of thrown into one. I love the blues, the whites, the colors, everything about it, the switch out hand, the booyah effect. This is a fantastic oversized cyborg figure. Now, of course, I had to put on the only build a figure for 2020. I'm not counting the battle deal. That was an interesting endeavor. Maybe revisit that later on. But this guy, as part of the Dark Knights, Metal Batman, Evil Batman, whatever is fantastic. The sculpt, the paint, the sword, the look, the fact that it's only four figures to build this guy, plus two if you want to get the other two Robins, but they don't have pieces that you need. But anyways, this guy's fantastic. He's huge. He's menacing. He is the merciless Batman, and he has the Whataburger insignia on his chest. Another Superman. Oh man, I thought McFarlane only made Batman figures. No, this is a very cool Superman figure, and it's one that just the year previous, we had the NECA Toys Superman with a cloth cape. But this one is cool, too. It's got a little bit big insignia Superman thing on his chest. But I just love the way he floats there. He's a very cool, old-fashioned looking Superman. Yeah, he's not like the classic, classic costume. But it's almost there, Dagnabbit. And you know what? That is a cool looking Superman. Now, this is an example of a character where I really like the character until I read more about the character. And then I was like, let's just stick with the look of the character. He's Thomas Wayne's Flashpoint Batman, which was a holiday Target 2020 exclusive elsewhere later on in 2021. But he's awesome. He's the look. He's the reds. He's got bat guns and everything else. He's got the red. He's just a cool, cool figure. Well articulated. Poses nicely. Highly recommend him. Gotta grab him. Now, I'll admit, the Flash, depending on which Flash it is, I'm more of a Wally West myself, but the Barry Allen Flash, the single-packed one, is amazing because of the effects and the way that the effects really enhance the look that this figure is in motion. And we really haven't gotten a Flash figure like this, at least not in a very, very long time. So I highly recommend him. I love everything about this. I love the facial expression, the outstretched hand. Very cool. All the fanboys and all the fangirls were screaming the minute they heard that the Red Hood was coming to the DC Multiverse. Now, this is part of a two-pack with the red version of Nightwing. Not my favorite figure, of course. But this Red Hood figure definitely deserves to be on this list. He's 
great. He has two removable guns, right? That's that's what we wanted to see, so thank God for that. The jacket, the look, everything about him, very stylistic, stands well, poses well. He's a great Red Hood. Now, with Wave 1 of DC Multiverse, they unleash the Hellbat. And this is one where I was like, this is what I want to see from McFarlane, but I don't really know what this is. No matter who's under it, Bruce Wayne, Lois Lane, for whatever reason, it's a massive, hulking figure. The wings are not really my favorite, I'm going to be honest, but if you just have him posed on your shelf in any way, shape, or form, he's menacing, he looks great, the black and red kind of has that Batman Beyond-ishness to it. But he's just a fantastic toy. Now this is one that I really like. I'm going to combine the two real fast because the Bat Raptor on one hand is amazing and I love that we got a in-scale vehicle right in the first wave. And then also the Capullo Batman figure, while it's not like the, the perfect Batman, whatever, he's cool looking, he comes with two axes, you put them together, it creates the Bat symbol, he's all beat up. It's straight from the cover from this guy. This is amazing. It's the artwork brought to life. The Raptor is rad. It extends. Yeah, it was in one panel of a comic, but you know what? Who cares? It's just a fantastic looking toy. Put them together, separate, what have you. These had to go together, and we had to talk about them. Now, Jean-Paul Valley showed back up again in the Batman Curse of the White Knight series by Sean Gordon Murphy, and McFarlane was like, let's make a toy out of him, and we saw him at Toy Fair, and I wanted it ever since. And when he finally came out, that's amazing looking Azrael figure. The reds, the darker reds, the big Mr. Sinister coat thing going on, the flaming sword of St. Dumas, yeah, it's a whole complete package. Very impressed by this guy, very cool looking Azrael figure. Now this one again, to me, while I do love the Crow Robin and I do love the Batman Who Laughs, I feel like together they are one. Especially if you have all three of the Crow Robins, which I don't yet. But hey, 2021, it's going to be my year. But this is fantastic. It's the artwork again, brought to life. Children on chains for, you know, whatever reason. It's a dark multiverse. It's creepy. But... It looks cool. I love the fact that they can put these two together and you got some twisted stuff on your shelf. And just before we get to the very last one on my list, I ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel for 2021. Daily news updates, retro action figures, especially Spider-Man the Animated Series, more McFarlane toys, everything and anything. I guarantee you'll find something around here that you like. Which finally brings me to the last figure for my favorite top DC Multiverse figures, the Batman White Knight figure. A very nice nod to Batman the Animated Series while standing alone and being its own thing. Sean Gordon Murphy's comic book series, sequel series, Harley Quinn series, what have you, looks great and the artwork is perfectly captured. From Capullo to Sean Gordon Murphy, this is what I want to see from McFarlane Toys, utilizing the artistry, the comic books, and putting them into plastic form. This is a knockout. So that is going to wrap it up for my look back at the year that was 2024 DC Multiverse by McFarlane Toys. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little list I put together. These were the figures I couldn't put down, had them on my shelf, my desk, what have you. They are all fantastic. Now, this is a odd year. Not all the articulation is the same. Not all the articulation is great. Not all the poses, not all the styles, not all the sculpting. But it's fun, and that's what toys are supposed to be, collecting toys. There are people behind these things that make these things, that put time and energy behind these things. So think about that when you say, oh, this looks terrible, or I don't like this. Think about it in the sense of, if you don't like it, don't buy it. But hey, there's going to be someone out there. That does. Now, I know you're not going to all agree with my list, but I'm curious to know what you guys think and what would be on yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse figures. And what are you looking forward to in 2021? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we definitely, I think the number one figure that I want now, Swamp Thing. We got to get Swamp Thing. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>